Right. There are lots of things I find exciting about Northumbrian songs, but one of the things is the fact that they reflect absolutely the lives and the people of this region. Like, for instance, Newcastle Quayside, 100 years ago, and it would be absolutely thronged with people and humming with life, and everybody would be singing about what they were selling. <laughs> If you want to listen for to sweep your house, come to me by any, you may hear your juice. Buy broom vessels, buy them when they're new. Fine heather bread and better leather broom. The songs also reflect, for instance, Northumberland's connection with the coast and the sea in songs like this, which is a late 18th century anti-press gang song. industrial past uh, is reflected in the songs as well. Um, things like this little lullaby which is so sweet and yet about a pitman, uh, a miner, uh, and also has a very nice modal quality to it. The bonny pitladdy, the canny pitladdy, the bonny pitladdy for me, oh. the bonny pitladdy, the canny Bonnie Pitladdy for me, oh. He sits in a hole as black as the coal and brings the bright silver for me, oh. He sits in a hole as black as the coal and brings the bright silver for me, oh. And the other thing I love, one of the other things I love, is the fact that we have versions <clears throat> in Northumberland of the most ancient of the classic ballads. Um, this is Northumberland's version of um, Scarborough Fair. Uh, it's called Whittingham Fair. Whittingham's a village um, in mid-Northumberland. Uh, this is Whittingham Fair. <laughs> <laughs> 